Hi, how are you and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk about optional chaining operator in JavaScript. So first of all, let's see how this optional chaining operator in JavaScript looks like. So basically it is denoted by this symbol question mark and this dot, right? Now we'll see this more in detail with the help of this example. So on my screen, you can see that at line number 90, I have one object, right? And the name of that object is channel and the type is of the var type, right? And it is having these many details, right? Starting from here till here, these details is represented in this object, right? So first you can see that in the first details, I'm having name, type, year, language, playlist, right? But in the second one, you cannot see this playlist option, right? This playlist option is absent in the second detail, right? Now let's say that the user want the detail of the playlist in the second second options, right? But we can clearly see that that the playlist is not available in the second one, right? So what we can do here is we'll use the optional chaining operator, right? And we'll just say that the value is absent over here, right? So these four console log statement I have written over here to show you the difference between uh, the using of this optional chaining operator and without using the optional chaining operator, right? What differences we can see over here. So quickly I'll come to my terminal first and then I'm going to run this file. The name of the file is operator.js as you can see over here. And in the terminal I'll write node operator dot js right i'll run this file and i know that i'm getting the error right the error is cannot read properties of undefined reading backend right and it is coming at the line number 36 uh, at line number 110 right so let's see at line number 110 right so here you can see that at this line we are getting this error for meanwhile, I'm just commenting on this line and I'm running my file once again. So let's see whether our code will run or not. Right. Now, I'll first of all, I'll clear my terminal. Then I'll write node operator.js. Right. I'll run this file and now I can see clearly that I'm getting the result in the terminal. Right. So the first result is showing as the MongoDB. Right. Basically, what I am doing here is I am I want the value of this backend right from my first data. Right. And I can clearly see that that this playlist is having the backend value as the MongoDB because here we can see that at the zeroth index at the zeroth position. Right. It is having this playlist and the backend value. Right. But at line number one. Right with the line which I have commented out and where I was getting the error is reason being because at the first that is this first of all let me tell you that this is the zeroth and this one is the first one right it is represented in this object right this one is the first so it is taking the value of the playlist it it it, it, it wants to fetch the value from this portion right and here we can clearly see that the playlist is not available. That's why we are getting that error, right? And for that reason only I have commented out this line. But I want that when the user fetch the value from this portion, he'll be getting either undefined or he'll be getting the value is absent over here. This message will be displayed, right? So in the second console log statement, if I'll use the optional chaining operator, right? So it will tell the computer that it is undefined, right? We can see that the playlist is not defined over here in this portion, right? And with the help of this optional chaining operator, it can clearly say that that this value is undefined, right? And if you'll use the nullishing coalescing operator, right? With the optional chaining operator, so you can even display whatever text you want to display, right? So in the next, in the last console log statement, right? 
and in the terminal as well i am getting the value is absent over here right so it will replace this undefined with this additional value is absent text right which we have uh, achieved with the help of this nullish coalescing operator right and here as well this is the optional chaining operator so if you use the nullish coalescing operator as well as this uh, optional chaining operator so you can get this value is absent over here in the terminal as well right so now i hope guys that you have understood this optional chaining operator in javascript and guys if you have any doubt you can ask the same in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer all your questions and guys one more thing if you haven't subscribed this channel so i request you to kindly please subscribe it so that you can get the latest update from this channel and also you can able to watch more videos like this so thank you uh, that's all for this video and i'll hope to meet you soon in the next video thanks for now